a good result after some disappointing defeats? Yeah, I think it's been. Uh, I think t tonight we got asked some, different, some questions. They, they, they do play direct. They've got some uh, some good quality. They've got some phys uh, physical presence, and they've got some willing runners that, that work off at any um, at any half chances that they get. They, they, they are a, a team that like to play on the front foot, and we had to stand up to that today. Um, but also then we had to make sure that we, we we were a threat when we got the ball and I thought that I thought we did that I thought we coped well with their aerial bombardment uh, brave uh, competitive uh, and willing uh, to accept the challenge which I thought was good um, you know you're gonna have to stand up against the Steve Evans team because they will ask questions and they will try and find a weakness uh, today I thought we did very well protected our goal very well um, <coughs> Don't really think the Mitch had too much to do save-wise. They had the free kick. But apart from that, I can't really remember. Uh, Just that like chance right at the end that he, he tucked over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, was, uh, he always had that cover, didn't he? Yeah. Um, but so, so yeah, but so no, it's pleasing because they do ask questions of you, uh, and they will try and find a weakness in you. And I thought yeah, um, it was good having um, Anna Sheehan back, Sean McWilliams back. Uh, and the addition of, uh, of Lloyd Jones uh, coming into the squad, I think, has given us that little, uh, little bit more physicality, a uh, little bit competitiveness, uh, and also competition, which is important. Alan Sheen back in the side. He's just signed a deal to become coach and player here to the end of the season. Great way to, to cap off the week with a with a terrific goal. I mean, I thought uh, Kim Belgium might have got a touch on it, but it's definitely Sheen's goal. Yeah, definitely. She's. Uh, I can assure you, he's not been brought to the football club for his uh, for his goal scoring prowess. Um, <laughs> he's somebody that I've uh, I've, uh, I've had a good relationship with and known him uh, back to me me Notts County days, and we've given him the opportunity to, to learn. The, the side of the game um, uh, as a coach, um, I think he's got uh, he's got an appetite uh, an appetite to learn the game uh, and how to manage players, uh, and it's it's one it's an opportunity for a young player that's still got the ability to play games, but to learn and develop his coaching style uh, with the help of the the existing coaching staff here, and I think that's a great opportunity for Alan. I think he's grasped that with um, with both hands. But his primary role here is uh, he's here as a player. And at the other end of the the age scale, Benny Ashley Seal, um, is it fair to say he's growing as a player, game by game, getting stronger, being more of a, a threat every game he plays? Yeah, I think he's he's learning and developing the uh, the, the game. Benny was brought in as a uh, somebody that we saw um, nowhere near the finished article, but he's got the raw ingredients uh, that we want to work with. His appetite again for the game uh, and to, uh, to learn in his trade is excellent. I thought the only thing he needed today uh, was a goal, um, but you know, goals will come with Benny. Uh, I think he's a threat. He's a physical threat. He's a physical presence, uh, and he's mobile and wants to work in behind people. And I think. Uh, the more he plays, the, the better he'll get, and the more game time he gets, the better he will get. And I thought there is um, his willing willingness to work, uh, him and Rosie, and to be the focal point for us today was uh, was very good. Just a word about Harry Smith. He's played quite a bit of football recently. Not in the A team tonight. Was he? Was that just a selection choice? Was he injured? What's the situation? No, no. He's had a, a bit of a, a virus. So he's, uh, again, with the the current state of affairs, anybody that's not well reports um, uh, an illness is one of those we try and get them out of the building as quickly as, uh, as quickly as we can do because. Uh, uh, it's not COVID related or anything like that, but it's just um, precautionary, get him out of the building uh, and make sure we keep a, um, not, a not so much a sterile environment, but, but keep our, but, uh, our bubble very well protected. OK, and onwards and upwards, you start 2021 with a, a, a mouth-watering game here against Sunderland on Saturday. You'll be looking to carry on your, your good form of tonight in that match. Yeah, I, I, I think we look forward to every game that we're playing uh, and every game will throw up different challenges. Um, and again, we accept the challenges and, and the, the results uh, obviously pleasing tonight. Um, and it shows good character within the changing room because you know, we've had you know, we've been on the backside of some, some difficult results. But I've got to say, that was a win today that, again, the, the changing room can, you know, can enjoy because we did the ugly side of the game and we stood up um, to the challenges that we faced. And psychologically, out of the bottom four with that win, how important is that? 
Well, well again, I don't look at the league table uh, week in, week out, because I think there's going to be lots of twists and turns uh, throughout. There's going to be some some, uh, some surprising results. Um, the only result I look for and I uh, uh, concern myself with is our results. Uh, and that's win, lose and draw. There's positives to take from every result. Um, we've got uh, players coming back in today, which, uh, which again, uh, we have missed. Um, and again, it shows that we, we're still building, uh, but when we get... Um, all the players available, uh, we're competitive. I, I know it's a team game and you don't want to talk too much about individuals, but it's probably more than a coincidence that Sheehan was missing for those defeats. He played in the win against Fleetwood, he's back tonight for a win. How important is he? I know we've talked about him already, but how key is Sheehan to you? Well, again, I, I think it's somebody that, uh, that understands the game, understands the slot, and has a, he can have an effect on other players around him, which I think is important. There's something that, there's that character that we're looking to add to the squad, the people that have been there, seen it, done it, uh, you know, he's got promotion out of this division as well, and, know, and knows what uh, knows what's needed. And again, and having that little bit of experience uh, in alongside Key and Bolger, uh, again, if you have a look at our back five today, I thought we looked uh, look, look pretty solid as a five. Yeah. And uh, finally, I know we'll talk about this on Saturday, but you'll doubtless be looking at bringing in new players during the transfer window. That starts, it opens on, on Sunday. Uh, what, what have you got to say about that? Where are you looking to strengthen Keith, if anywhere? Again, I think, I think I've said right from the outset, it's, um, it's an on, uh, the, re the recruitment issue is, is ongoing. It's not just because the window opens and uh, Simon Tracy, head of recruitment, goes to work. Uh, we're, we're working all year round, looking to develop, improve the, the squad that we've got. And, uh, and again, the, the available availability of players. Um, you don't just go shopping uh, in January, your work's done before that. Um, so again, there's, uh, and again, within January there's a, it's a, it's a knock-on effect in this case of we need to be ready. Um, and I think that's what we're trying to do now, we're trying to make sure that if the right player becomes available that we're ready. Uh, that's, not, that's just not financially, that's um, squad-wise, number squad-wise. Um, we're only allowed to sign 22 and uh, nominate a squad of 22, so we've got to make sure that we've got our numbers right. Just a final one. How much did you benefit tonight? Another, from... fi another final one. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, I don't know. A final, final one. I forgot to ask it earlier, so I'll ask it now. How important was it having a bit of a break before tonight's game? You hadn't played. You didn't play Saturday. You didn't play uh, midweek last week. Was that little bit of extra time to prepare for tonight's game important to give you that extra bit of edge? Do you think? Definitely the last question, by the way. Uh, yeah, last question. No, it's, 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 again, it's another challenge that, that you face because you uh, we're preparing for the Ipswich game, so the. Um, uh, the tactical uh, things have been done uh, and in place, uh, and then it gets called off. As well. so, so then it's an opportunity then to get more training time uh, and get get the players out on the field of play, knowing that we're facing um, the, the. And again, it's, it's a challenge sometimes because you, you don't want players to switch on. You need them to, uh, to stay focused, and again, very very quickly then. Um, the focus right from um, when the Ipswich game was called off was right, our next the next competitive game is Gillingham. These are the threats. Um, and again, this, we've got a changing room that, that, that absorb information well um, and, and take on board challenges. Um, again, we're going to face a lot of challenges this season. And then again, the, the results like tonight shows the, the characters in that changing room, and we, and we got to build on that. Good stuff, Keith. Well done tonight. Sure. And Happy New Year. Cheers, Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.